Hello my test. Hello C pipes. Hello C pipes 2015. Hello C pipes 2015. Is everybody ready? Is everybody seated? I hope you are comfortable in your seats and we shall start. Our Father in heaven, we pray Lord uh, today that you will be with us. Uh, please forgive us from all our sins. Be merciful to us Lord, sinners, weaklings. Our Father, please uh, guide us as we discuss uh, things about your work. Help us to be faithful to your commands and your instructions and your examples. Please bless the listeners and the watchers. Send the Holy Spirit to be with all of us so that we may be efficient in your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, good day everyone. Welcome to C Pipes 2015. And I am Winelfred uh, G. Pasamba. And my part is to share about you uh, regarding YouTube Media Ministry. I have a number here. Please, uh, if you have any questions while you are watching this presentation, even after you can text uh, this number here, text, or you can call me if I'm not this, I can answer. And uh, we will go to, we are going to experiment on this thing. Uh, anyway, since this is a uh, media ministry, let us try to use media ministry, okay? So uh, I'm going to uh, tell you what we did in the media ministry and uh, encouraging things. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, our basis, of course, is in the Bible. It says Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore, teach all nations. All nations means uh, the whole world, right? So we are supposed to go to Iraq, to Afghanistan, to every country, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Uh, this is the evangelism uh, instruction. However, in the internet, of course, we cannot... <laughs> We cannot do baptizing, so all we can do in the internet is go. We can post our videos or our audio, and we can also teach. That's what we do. That's why my paper is entitled Religious Education instead of uh, Internet Evangelism, because you cannot complete Internet Evangelism without baptizing. You, know. you cannot baptize through the internet. You have to go to the church, get real Bible studies for confirmation or verification, and then get baptized and join the church. That is uh, what I think of evangelism. So what we are just doing in internet is just teaching. And it's very strong commission because the, the three persons of the Trinity are signed in the commission. And furthermore, we are not only going to teach and go to all nations, but we have to teach all things. It's very important because if you only teach half things, then they will become ha half Ventists. And uh, it says, whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So Jesus' commands, which are from the Father also, which are sent through the Holy Ghost, through the prophets, and including the recent prophets like Sister Ellen G. White, they are all whatsoever I have commanded you. They are all from Jesus, through the Holy Ghost, through the prophets, and written to us, Amen, unto the end of the world. In according to Ellen G. White, in uh, the book Evangelism, which is a compilation, they quoted from testimonies to ministers and gospel workers, page 300. It says, contrary to human planning, unless those who can help in blank are aroused to the sense of beauty, they will not recognize the work of God. When the loud cry, when I read the, the book Last Day Events and I check the the characteristics of the Lord cry, it seems like it is really happening now. Uh, the third, the voice of the, the Lord cry, the third angel shall be heard. When light goes forth to lighten the earth, instead of coming up to the help the Lord, they will want to bind about his work to meet their narrow ideas. So, let me tell you that the Lord will work in this last work in a manner that very much out of common order of things and in a way that will be contrary to any human planning. There will be those among us, this is sad, who will always want to control the work of God to dictate even what movements shall be made when the work goes forward under the direction of the angel who joins the third angel in the message to be given to the world. God will use ways and means which it will be seen that he is taking reins in his own hands. I will tell you many things. The workers will be surprised by the simple means that he will use to bring about and perfect his work 
of righteousness. Wow. So in the last days, these simple things, simple people like us, simple people like you, has one camera and s some lights and an internet connection and a YouTube account. You can help do simple work. Video is like a book that reads itself. It's like this book. It can read itself. Instead of, it's like writing a book. You can, you can, uh, it it's except that the book can read itself. You can scroll across the book. And there's uh, another idea. If a picture paints a thousand words, then a video which is 30 frames or pictures per second or 30 FPS, and a one second video can be 30,000 words because 30 times 1,000, right? So videos can say, that means videos can say a lot. In one second is 30 frames, sometimes 60 frames per second, and then if one picture frame is a thousand words according to the saying, then that means that the video can say a lot. It's a very nice delivery of messages. Okay, my testimony, short testimony, why do I like uh, to do uh, video ministry? Because other people have done video ministry and I was benefited and I was brought closer to Jesus Christ. I was strengthened spiritually and one of the most common video which I go around uh, and we're friends in the uh, media ministry and they say that there is one video that's very uh, inspiring to them. It's the Extreme Faith. You can type it in the internet, Extreme Faith video. It's uh, one of our missionaries. And one more thing is I benefited a lot from Ojiverse, from listening to GYC uh, yeah, messages, especially 2008 and so on. Uh, and then there's also what uh, Ellen G. White says, but I don't know where it is where I got it, but the idea is that the things that bring you closer to God are also the things you want to use to bring others closer also to God. So if uh, you learned the truths using video, you also want to share the truth using video. If you learn the truth using Bible study, you also sh want to share using Bible study. In the Bible also it says in Habakkuk 2.2, these are principles uh, that we get from the Bible with which we base our media ministry on it says and the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it so but the technology these days we can actually write the vision or maybe if habakkuk had a video recorder it would say save the video habakkuk 2 2 might say save the video make it plain make it plain means uh it has to be clear. If it is audio, it has to be clear. It, if it is video, it has to be clear. And uh, the reason the Lord tells the prophets to write upon the tables of stones, even Ellen G. White on the paper and the books, is because uh, the prophet will die, but the writings will go on, will outlast the Bible writer. Uh, also, Ellen G. White was writing because the writings if she did not write, we would not have anything to read. Ellen G. White writings, if she just took on all speaking appointments without recording, without writing, then the people would have just forgotten and word of mouth. But since she wrote, we have many things to read. Also, video and audio sermons outlast the preacher. <coughs> I have a story in from uh, NPUC. The AWR guy there said that somebody came from abroad. He was listening to AWR sermons of uh, our relative who is a pastor and the relative died already and the guy came he said I'm an Adventist can I see doc uh, pastor fair and the uh, scenario was uh, he said you know I'm sorry but pastor fair already died two years ago so he was very sad but in another way it is also a nice idea because even if you died long time ago already you are still uh, doing ministry through your recorded sermons Okay, one more thing that is very important in media ministry is that we have to have purity of the message. You know, in prophecy, there is a pure woman or a pure church. There is also a harlot woman or a harlot church, meaning the difference of the pure and the harlot. <coughs> pure means uh, all the teachings are according to, the, to this word, according to Isaiah 23. 
uh, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And the harlot uh, church or uh, harlot woman, they don't care if it's according. Sometimes it might not be contradicting, but it is still not according. One more one example. There's, is there any verse in the Bible that prohibits infant baptism? Do you know? Please text me if you know of any verse zero nine one six three one eight seven two five three. If there is any verse or idea in the Bible that prohibits, okay, you know uh, there is a difference between accordingness and prohibits, because you cannot find a verse in the Bible that says, "Do not transfer the sanctity of the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Do not baptize infants. Do not baptize using sprinkling." But those things are not according. They might not be contradictory, but they are not according. So this is very important uh, hermeneutic when studying our beliefs. I assure you all the beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church are not only, non, uh, not only con non-contradictory with the word, they are actually according. Because if you only look for things that are not contradicted in the Bible, uh, you can baptize infants, you can uh, you know, do so many things that are not contradicted. But our church has very, very square and tight uh, studies and beliefs, which are all according. Okay, according is very strict. I just want to share that because it sometimes is an issue <laughs> with <laughs> uh, these things, study about, uh, you know, uh, biblical or unbiblical ordination. You know, you have to be according. So the reason we have to be a pure church because Jesus promises to come back and to come back for the pure woman, and that is sure in Bible prophecy, the question is, will we be faithful? Okay, so will we be faithful? We have to be faithful because whatever happens, there will be a pure church, but the people can become impure or the people can backslide or can lose purity, but we have to go back to the Bible, the purity. And last day events, I want to assure you, last day events says that God will set everything in order. So... There is no worry whether impure things will come in the church or not. God will set everything in order. The faithful will become the church, the faithful of the church militant will become the church triumphant. And the people who don't, the sinners in Zion will be sifted out. So our job is to be faithful to our writings, to our teachings, according to the Bible. <coughs> okay, I usually tell my friends, if you are going to say something that's not in the Bible or in the SOP and you're in the pulpit, it's better not to say it because it is a waste of time. You know why? Because God has put 33,103 verses in the Bible and so much in SOP. If you want to put your own things, I don't know why. There are already so much things which are we are sure it is from God. And if you want to put your own ideas there, it is, I think, a distraction. <coughs> to what God has specified as sure from the prophets that we trust. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, we are going to look at some uh, channels in YouTube. As you see, that's my name. And that's also the name of my channel. We are going to dig deeper into the uh, statistics and the, <coughs> and the data there. Also, these are my friends. Capitulo Versiculo is another channel. Johnson and Mikan is another channel. They are the same uh, users. Hope Channel Luzon by Sir Demwell. Hope Channel Visayas also Mindanao and uh, Sir Johnster. And then I have another channel which I just tried Bible subscriber. And then the, the popular, the Forerunner 777. We will uh, try to look at uh, some of this. This Forerunner 777 is very, very popular. It gets millions of hits or hundreds of thousands of hits a day sometimes. Bible subscriber, I just automatically uploaded all uh, amazing facts videos and uh, titled them automatically according to metadata. Jansa Joe is uh, Hope Channel Mindanao is has the most, has the I, I think he's the most number of views channel in all this that I know. But the, the top most views are uh, videos from Hope Channel International and songs. So they are th those things are strong if you want to have plenty of views, songs, and uh, nice videos. Visayas, I think they are you are just starting there. In fact, I think we have the same uh, video switch, the Atem Television Studio, 
Hope Channel are friends in Hope Channel. Besides, I see your pictures in uh, Facebook. <coughs> uh, Hope Channel, Luzon, Sir Demuel, and Pastor Orbe are friends there. Leo uh, doing so so much uh, nice work. And they hope o- there is growing also. And uh, of course, our o- other friends, Capitulo Versiculo, which has plenty of, uh, uh, what is this, converts uh, through TV and also through uh, internet uh, Viewer, viewers from other countries, people come to the Philippines to get baptized and so on. And so there are m- things that are very nice there. I think the strength of uh, Capitulo Versiculo is that <coughs> their language is for the ta- masa and they have so many Bible verses. Yeah. So my Bible verses and question and answer format most of the time. That's why uh, people are attracted to the interaction. Of course, I cannot dig down too much on those channels because they are not my actual channels, except for the Winalfred Pasamba, <coughs> which is my my channel. Okay, now we are going to. There are uh, okay, okay. Now we are just going to see the. Actually, this is a paper I presented in the International Scholars Conference, Second International Scholar Conference which is composed of Adventist uh, theologians, professors, uh, doctors, uh, teachers, academicians in Southeast Asia, in Indonesia, Thailand, <coughs> uh, Southeast Asia, Philippines. And uh, this is about the channel which I was doing. So uh, this is a case study of a religious educational channel. The paper enumerates absurd factors affecting online viewers uh, online video viewership. I really like to share this because everybody who is trying to do media ministry has to know these things, especially if you're Adventist. I want you to have an advantage to what the others know. So we have to learn these things and I want to share this with all Adventist <coughs> media ministers. Uh, what kinds of title has high view? Which countries have high viewers? Uh, what else? What topics are interesting? What kind of speakers? Whose speakers are most interesting? And uh, viewer retention and biblical principles and other things. So all of these things, we have to be careful not to count our soldiers. We have to be careful not to be showing our you know, treasures so that the people can attack us later, like in the Bible. But we have to give credit that all of these things, the nice things that, that we do are actually put together by God, by the Holy Spirit, and uh, we are just instruments. Okay. <coughs> so we want to show the similarities between online and traditional methods of lecturing and uh, other things. Okay. So let's go quickly. Okay. What are the advantages of online lectures? online lectures. <coughs> By the way, just a little introduction to my channel. I started making videos, recording videos about 2007 or 2008, 2009, and I put them all just there. Uh, according to this paper, I have about 1,260, and now I think s- it's 1,580 <coughs> videos. Some are small, some are big, some are, you know, they are all low quality. Most of them are low quality, so nature videos. So the nice thing about online lectures or YouTube videos, they are replayable. You can rewind if you forget. Okay, and then you can, as a publisher, you can see which part is uh, being viewed very uh, repeatedly. You know, which part of the video has the uh, has the bump, what we call the bump. Another uh, benefit is that it's post postable. You can post it. For example, you are cooking and you are watching and then your cooking becomes burnt. You can take care of it and then you can r- resume it later. Not like when you go into a church and you do something, you miss uh, the live thing. But this video, if you forget something, you just post and you replay or you didn't understand something, you can just uh, scroll back the bars, right? And low or no cost. <coughs> if I need to go to a seminar, which is very expensive, I need to pay rent, uh, hotel and traveling costs and plane ticket, etc., <coughs> but YouTube ministry is very cheap. You can upload without ne- a uh, significant cost. You can watch without also significant cost. And also in the publishing side, if you want to compare to, to terrestrial television, you have to have transmitter licenses and TC like this uh, congressional license senator, etc. 
And if you want satellite television, you have to pay like uh, so much per month, you know, <coughs> to ABN, Amazing Fox, uh, Hope Channel, HBN, their bills are almost the same. It's because that's uh, <coughs> uh, almost standard pricing. And you have a worldwide audience potential. For example, my channel, when I made this paper, our highest viewers were US, 80,000 views. And Philippines, 74,000, Saudi Arabia, you know. In, <coughs> in the United States, there are churches. In the Philippines, there are churches, so no problem. But in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> it's not so easy to be an Adventist or a Christian. My auntie hides her Bible and is very afraid that her Bible will be discovered. So the, Fili the US, the Americans can laugh at my channel, the Filipinos can laugh at my channel, but it's okay. There are people in Saudi Arabia <coughs> who need my channel, right? Also in United Arab Emirates and other areas that are very hard, not so easy to be a Christian in. And one more thing is that uh, there are 216 countries, according to YouTube, that have at least one view recorded, uh, one view, one view in my channel. So I, I'm doing nothing, I'm not paying anything, I just upload the videos from the church. Uh, services and the revivals <coughs> and it so happened that 216 countries are reached by all the videos that uh, God has allowed me to upload you see uh, you be it becomes a goy into all the world really okay and then uh, there you can also do audience reception analytics for example uh, one of the most popular is this from amazing facts the, the destructions and drift by dog bachelor it is a uh, done in the general conference <coughs> to call backsliders, offshoots, back to the church. Uh, very popular because uh, uh, my analysis for this is that they hid the link so s it was so hard to find the link and to download the video that for about one year I'm the only one <laughs> in, the in YouTube who has the, the video. So other people found out <coughs> probably later it became easier to download. And then I, for one year, I think for about one year, I'm the only one who has this video in YouTube. Anyway, it is from a church. <coughs> and one more thing is this. Uh, it is popular because uh, it is rare. That's why I have plenty of hits. The second one is popular. As you see, the green, the green bar here. The green bar here. For about one year, I'm, uh, I have most of the hits from the YouTube. And then it went down because people discovered and, uh, of course, <coughs> they also did what I did. And uh, the other popular one is Love, Courtship, and Marriage. You know why it's popular? Because of the title, right? 7,000 views. You see, it has very big view when it started, and it continues to get views, 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 views because of the title. <coughs> However, the average duration is only six minutes because uh, I think uh, the first several minutes is about a uh, slow drama. You know, we had a slow drama. And uh, but the most thing you, get you can learn is the topic is very interesting. The third title that's uh, popular is the Mark of the Beast. The Mark of the Beast has always been going high. I don't know why. I uploaded Discoveries 2008. Uh, uh, what is this? By Mark Finley. And of all the 23 topics, the most popular is the Mark of the Beast. So. Maybe people are curious or afraid or something. Uh, one more th popular thing is uh, David Gates' uh, testimonies of music, also popular. And what is hell? Where is hell? This is, I just renamed this video. I took it from Amazing Fox Media Library, which they allow everyone to download from. And I retitled it to something that it looks like the question <coughs> that is answered by the, the question that is answered by the lecture. So I renamed it, what is hell, oh hell is where is hell. And it just automatically gets hit, hits without advertisement because I suspect people know, want to know what is hell or where is hell. And that's what they type in Google and YouTube. And you know, if your title is the same as the question, you automatically get promoted, right? That's how <coughs> we know that Google and uh, YouTube works those, uh, that way. One more thing is you can have variable quality. <coughs> if you want to do TV, television programming, you have to have very nice cameras, very expensive equipment, lights, etc., microphones. But in YouTube, <coughs> you can even start with your cell phone. 
and take videos and uh, testimonies and you know you can get popular even with uh, cheap uh, quality however if you also want nice quality you can also do so you don't have to be a millionaire to start a YouTube media ministry that's what um, I was saying <coughs> and the viewership is going up I think YouTube is not going back viewership is not going back it looks even like it's exponential the growth yeah? but something happened here some persecution happened here so it's just become linear it looks like it's linear now the growth is linear but when I started it was I want I, I think I like to think it was almost exponential yeah? like exploding anyway it's still going up <coughs> and praise the Lord for for the numbers there are about 350,000 views now 315 by that time and about 2.5 million <coughs> minutes lectures okay so some things are harder to do it says but the the nice thing is it is coming up and people are more people and more people are viewing okay one more benefit is there is no time limit <coughs> If you're in church, maybe you can preach 30 minutes or one hour. And then people get sleepy and so on. In the internet, it's like a book. You can write a 1,000-page book. Of course, you can't expect everybody to read from page 1 to page 1,000. In YouTube also, you can, in fact, the most one of the most popular is the 666 Mark of the Beast. It's a two-and-a-half-hour sermon. <coughs> and it's one of the most popular in all the Tagalog. Plenty of days, it's the most popular. Plenty of months and years. It's two and a half hour sermon, but it's very popular. People might not finish, might finish only 30 minutes. Next time they will, next, the so I no time limit because it's like a book. You can start at the last, you can start in the middle, you can scroll, you know, it's like a book. <coughs> okay. And then there are more potential to make, to influence more people. Uh, there is uh, Daphne Kohler, the co-founder of Coursera.org. Is a teacher in computer science in uh, Stanford. Also, he she is in education, and she says that <coughs> in the university they can have a class with 300 students <coughs> and uh, a semester, and in in her entire lifetime, we can maybe she can influence by teaching in Stanford like some thousands, several thousands in her lifetime through that method. But if you teach online, <coughs> they had Coursera or an online school in one class <laughs> there is 80,000 there are 80,000 enrollees can register and even if only 20,000 complete finish the whole course it's still a lot more in one semester than one you than a lot more influence to other people in one semester than what you can do in uh, in regular teaching front to front classroom so there's a lot of potential to be a good influence to other people <coughs> For example, uh, one of my most popular video in the YouTube ministry is this uh, uh, from a uh, humble tricycle driver, Kuya uh, Jun Lumingkit. Uh, one of his lectures about Mark of the Beast, Marka ng Hayop, in, uh, in this date, May 29 to June 25, 28 days, there were about 557 views, which equals, if you divide by 28, equals about 19 online video studies a day so online video bible studies a day uh, if you do it in real life maybe he can give five bible studies a day but si if, if, if since he posted his video in youtube while he is driving a tricycle while he is sleeping or cooking or washing clothes he is actually giving 19 online bible studies a day that's just one video and he has recorded about 28 videos in the studio where I am recording now, which is just uh, my house. And there is also automated teaching, teach while you sleep, etc. That's the same thing. <coughs> However, there are also disadvantages of online videos or this ministry. It's easy to quit, right? <laughs> if Facebook makes a sound, <laughs> you just click the X if it's not interesting. So there are many uh, distractions. That's why we have the viewer retention measurement in uh, YouTube. Okay, there are many distractions, checking emails, sending messages, Facebook, while your video is playing, so that's those things that you have to consider also. And there's also lack of internet at the dynamics. For example, now, I don't see you. I don't see you. You who are sitting there, you who are sitting there, you. You people, you are smiling. I don't see you, but in a normal audience, I see if you are bored already, or if you are asleep already, or if you are really excited, right? 
and you have see thousands of eyes, but in a video, I can just imagine that you are excited. I don't even know if you're still there. However, maybe somebody else is there you don't see, right? So those are the disadvantages of online <coughs> videos. Now, let's go to the factors that matter more in online lectures. Title, for example, I read the anatomy of the search engine, Google, by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. <coughs> of course, that's a computer science paper. And from reading that, I said, maybe we can get more hits if we title our videos according to what people search in Google. So I tried and experimented on that. And uh, there is a tool there which helps you market the keywords. And I found out from that tool that 5 million people type, how can I be saved in Google every month? And when I saw that, aha, let me have a video which is titled exactly, how can I be saved? And when you type exactly that, Google will find, of course, if your video is exactly that title, you will have a higher rank or page rank than the others, right? 3.3 million type how to pray in Google every month. You know what this means? There are people searching for the truth and we have to have answers in every language that we have on these questions. And there is also one more popular thing. This I just imagined these questions, by the way. There are also, for example, about the Sabbath. Uh, <coughs> how can, uh, what, which is the seventh, seventh day? What is the seventh day? Uh, which day is the seventh day? 11 million searches a month are typed in Google asking what is the seventh day. But the nice thing about this one is that the seventh, most, the first page of the results of uh, asking what is the seventh day, su seventh day, all the first page are from Adventists. Yeah, very nice, you know. They are all from Adventists. The rest, other people have them, but the Sabbath, we are the most reliable source of the Sabbath truth. Praise the Lord. <coughs> okay. Okay, let us su see some. Uh, these are the some of the videos I retitled. Yeah. So I just downloaded <laughs> from Doug from Amazing Fox Media Library, which is of course free to download. Even you can do it yourself. They have download links there. We are we praise the Lord for Amazing Fox. They are not selfish about their material. They are very generous and allows everyone to download. <coughs> so I retitled How Can I Be Saved? And without advertisement, I get about 253 lifetime views. It's slow because, you know why? Because there are so many other videos there about how can I be saved. So my the things that come to my channel are just few, right? And uh, the other one is What is Hell? Where is Hell? I downloaded and I uploaded. No, I downloaded it is a different title. I forgot what title is it, it is. And I retitled them in the questions uh, title. <coughs> and you see, I got plenty of hits. This is plenty already for me. Maybe for you it's little because your ch channel might be more popular. But at least I have hits without advertisement, 6,000. And the second hour is 2,000. <coughs> that means they are real seekers. People are really seeking. In fact, they are not content with watching only one hour. One third of them go on to watch the second hour, right? So that means people are really seeking for the truth in the internet. And we have to be there when they type their questions. Okay, there's another example of titling, right? This one is the original title. Revelations for Galloping Horsemen and the Answer to Why So Many Denominations. Discovery Series 8, presentation number 19. <coughs> Lifetime views, 783 days. So they are s it's about 0 0.64 views a day. I retitled that sermon, uploaded the same thing, and <laughs> I tried uh, without advertisement to see what will happen. The title is, How Do I Find a True Church? Which is the true church? <coughs> Guess what? There are two times the number of views per day just because the title is different. Because the title is just a question. So there are I the views per day is double then the original title, you know, the we were taught in English subjects that we have to make our titles very curious so that people will read it. But in, in, in the search engines, it doesn't work that way. Peop we have to type. It is better to title our videos or our articles in such a way 
that will match the questions of the seeker, the searcher, the people who use the search engine. So, double, <coughs> just because of the title. What's the time? Okay, we have some more time. Next one is the topic factor. Mark of the Beast is popular. Prophecy is popular. Okay, paganism, Jesus is popular. Heaven is popular. This one is popular, so those are the different kinds of things. <coughs> and then, okay, this is a nice, uh, this is another nice example. I found out in Discovery 08 videos that the Mark of the Beast, the mysterious number 666 and the last day predictions title is the most popular with 7,000 views. So 6.25 views per day, right? So I told my friend, Kuya Jun Lumingkit, Kuya Jun, this is the most popular art of Mark Finley's videos. You might want to try preaching about that one. So he also recorded the same thing. And I'm amazed. He, his video gets 10.94 views per day. I said, why? And I found out if I type Marka Nang Hayop in YouTube, there is only one sermon that talks about 666 and Mark Odovis in Tagalog done by this humble tricycle driver. In the whole YouTube, there is only one Tagalog sermon about 666 and Mark the Beast. In the time I was doing this research. Now there are two. I also did mine. <laughs> I also made my own video <laughs> with Mark Kanang Hayop 666. But you know what? He still gets more hits than my video. I think Kuya Jun is uh, very good in praying more and I need to pray more like he does, okay? <laughs> okay, because... Uh <laughs> Okay, I challenge you also to do also, and let's see who will get the more hits. Okay, one more thing, factor is firstness. If you are there first, <coughs> you become more popular first, you get more hits first, and the more hits you have, the more they will recommend you later, right? Because you see there is a recommendations, you know, in Google, uh, in YouTube, the video is here, <coughs> the recommendations are here, right? And uh, sometimes we get annoyed. Why are there so many recommendations this side? Video, 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 and then the video is your real, real video that you need is here. But actually, <coughs> I found out in the analytics that about 30% of views coming to our videos are from, are from the, the recommendations. When people are watching other videos, uh, my videos are recommended while they are watching the other videos. So it's also it's annoying when it's your video that's showing, but when somebody else's video is showing, sometimes your videos come out of the recommendations also. <coughs> the popularity and the link to, you know, the co how popular you are in the internet is computed by Google by how many links you there are going to your video or your material. So the more all the, the longer you have been there, the more links probably will be pointing to you and the more links will be pointing to you, the higher your page rank number or score, okay. One more observation is that if you put questions in the video description, <coughs> people tend to click because they see the questions and they want to know the answers of the questions. Okay. Okay, okay. There are some, uh, those are the things that, uh, this one, they are popular. Dog Bachelor, Deadly Destruction and Drifts because there is no other video in the internet that I found that has this outline of Bible texts, you know, very rare kind of uh, Bible study. Of course, the, <laughs> the popular title by Pastor Orbe, Love, Courtship and Marriage, <laughs> getting it right. <laughs> All youth want to watch this video. And in fact, in real life, when uh, our friend Pastor Orbe does the seminar, you should actually, all of you should attend his seminar. Uh, sometimes in some, uh, I think in Batangas, they had a seminar from 2 until 6 in the afternoon. So n people start to comp never finish asking questions. Very interesting topic. And uh, uh, of course, I'm promoting because I like how he discusses. Okay. Of course, Mark of the Beast is popular. I don't know why people are afraid or people want to know the truth, prophecy. And testimonies are very nice, especially if the author is the 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 person is popular <coughs> questions and kaligtasan salvation david asrik popular guy also okay now we are going to see the the councils of the bible and lng white which help in online religious education or 
uh, media evangelism. Number one, humility. There are many people who have expensive cameras, <coughs> plenty of cameras, channels, but if there are also people who have nothing, almost nothing, but they have plenty of uh, converts. I think what is uh, important is that we stay humble because the Bible says, Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. It is important in our ministries to be humble, to give credit to God because when we are humble, God can use us more. Number two, prayer. Uh, pray without ceasing. You know why? Because this great controversy is very big. We cannot do it on ourselves. We are small people, but with God, when we pray, when we depend on God, then God, uh, when we synchronize our mind with God, then God can use us. We can obey His commands and we can be where God wants us to be and do what God wants us to do in a specific time and place. And, you know, when you are synchronized with God, everything seems to be going uh, correctly if our attitude is correct. And, of course, there is a command. <coughs> Go ye into all the world. So uh, there's an idea you should be wh go where the people are. And where are the people? They are in the internet. So let's go to the internet now and put the messages there. People are asking Google questions. People are searching YouTube. People are lingering in Facebook. And we have to be there. Our message has to be there. When the people ask questions, we have to be there and ready to answer the questions. And then there's also number four, Isaiah 3220. So beside all waters. So the idea that I get from this verse is that we have to make biblical videos, correct understanding, f especially uh, affirmed from Spirit of Prophecy, which answers people's questions, not only in English, because there are many already in English, in different languages, in Tagalog, in Visaya, in Locano, everything, all languages, because when the Holy Spirit <coughs> and the Holy Spirit pours more into the people, they will start to ask questions, ask Google, ask YouTube, their questions and our videos have to be there to answer the questions number five write the vision make it clear video has to be clear sound has to be clear clear enough to understand right so uh which is more important manual evangelism or automated evangelism we have 10 more minutes uh both because jesus preached and god also told the prophets to write when you write even if you are tired already or reti retired already, your writings still do God's work, okay? So, uh, they help also while we are sleeping or resting or we forgot already the message, our video is still preaching, even preaching to ourselves. Sometimes I, I want to watch my own preaching because I remember what I preached. Number six, and teach them to observe all things, okay? You know, YouTube viewer retention is about three minutes, the whole YouTube. <coughs> but in my channel, the YouTube uh, retention is about 19 minutes. And I praise the Lord for that. That means it's not that I'm good or s well our preachers are good. That means the people are looking for the truth. And the truth given to the Seventh Adventist Church is very nice. And the sheep know the master's voice. Number seven, as you noticed, uh, <laughs> I'm not very much in. Uh, very good in art and if you watch many of my videos you know that there is not really too much art so <laughs> anyway <laughs> it says in evangelism success is not dependent <laughs> on outward display okay even I don't have intros and extras and uh, you know I, I maybe someday you know if somebody wants to help so those are the things that uh, you can learn from what I have tried and I wish that uh, to, summari to summarize, uh, to consider the following, retitle or uh, upload with different title <coughs> and make sure we are faithful Bible, 100% biblically sound and 100% affirmed by spirit of prophecy because we don't want to, con con uh, to at attract people to ourselves. We don't want to confuse people with uh, different kinds of... Uh, a theology which is not affirmed by spirit of prophecy. So let us be humble and submit to what is written. I internet is getting faster day by day. People are viewing videos more and more. <coughs> Countries 
are getting faster and faster internet. About one third on the world are internet red internet connected now. But the next two billion and two billions are getting connected. The ca internet in Philippines is getting faster and faster with the uh, 4G and LTE. <coughs> and we should encourage all languages. If you are in a school, the foreigners who are in the school who are Adventists who know how to preach, encourage them to to do it so that when they go home in their countries, especially the persecuted countries, it's very hard to preach there. At least they can see. Oh, by the way, do you know I have views? Our channel has views from Afghanistan, from Iraq, from Somalia, from war countries, even countries that <laughs> you cannot go in as a Christian. There are views. And I don't know. It's I'm very happy about it. I praise the Lord for it. One more thing is, uh <coughs> okay, when we obey the instructions through the prophets, Mark Finley's observation is that the more we obey the instructions in the book Evangelism, the more successful the work. However, despite all the nice things God allows us to do, let us not be proud because it says that uh, notwithstanding, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Okay, so that we will not be proud and we will not be self-centered. Self self okay, and I want to thank all my uh, guides. Now, I told you a little bit about all the channels. We don't have time. The other things I observed is, for example, the channel, the 400777. <coughs> that guy is very enthusiastic. He preaches and preaches and preaches and is not afraid. I think the interpretation, the explanation for that one is in uh, in the book uh, Prophets and Kings. It says, uh, in proportion to the enthusiasm and perseverance with which the work is carried forward will be the success given. So don't give up. No views. Don't give up. Just keep the videos there. Don't hide them. And one more thing I observe is the more Bible verses, the more power. For example, Capitulo Versiculo. If you have watched the video with the big Bible in front, sometimes two people, sometimes three people, rare, really three, four people. If you, I, I help them in audio. Uh, I have that show in audio. One more example is amazing. Fact, you see Dog Bachelor, he just opens the Bible, reads one verse, explains, reads one verse, explains, reads one verse. And so many people are attracted to the God's word. <coughs> the, the more verses you read, I think the more power a vid you will have because the word of the Lord made the heavens. And then, of course, 70, 71 says, one sentence of scripture is more valuable than 10,000 of men's ideas and arguments. So, just read the most valuable things. Okay, by the way, I think they have more studios and cameras than preachers. You know why? Because how many percent of the time is your studio being used? Here in Luzon, we have so many studios. Studio in this school, studio in this school, studio here, studio here, studio here. But what we lack are preachers. Because the studio, you know, it can work 24 hours, but the most of the studio, like my studio, is idle 90% of the time. So I invite everybody to come, but you know, the hardest to turn on the cameras and to record is very easy to put down the sounds. The hardest thing is to prepare the sermon. So. For example, if a preacher takes two weeks to prepare, maybe I said, I need to invite 14 preachers so I have a recorder recording every night or every day so that my studio will not be idle, right? So, you know, cameras are not the problem. Studios are not the problem. The most uh, need is preachers who are ready. There are actually many st idle studios. Okay, one last issue I want to discuss. I have a lot five minutes is intellectual property. This is the most difficult issue. People can make gra any video, but they, <laughs> they cannot avoid using pirated music, pirated graphics, uh -huh, pirated videos, and <laughs> I'm sorry to say, pirated software. I am a software engineer by profession, computer science teacher, and this is one thing I have to teach you, which nobody else might have the guts to teach you. Thou shalt not steal, According to the Bible, and affirmed by spirit of prophecy, author's stewardship in chapter 23 of Councils, Writers, and Editors, Ellen G. White says we have to respect royalty, respect copyright. If we don't respect copyright, <coughs> do you think our literature evangelism work will flourish? We will just Xerox copy all the expensive books, right? 
but <coughs> the spirit of prophecy affirms the intellectual property laws of the land. So, how do we avoid this? Music, you can ri write your own music, sing your own music, or you get written permission from the one who makes the music. Or graphics, you can <coughs> have original, draw yourself, or take pictures by yourself. Or you can get permission from, what is the, from uh, Good Salt. Good Salt, you know, the Good Salt owners are Adventists. Don't steal from them, okay? <laughs> that's how they, they, uh, they, that's their profession. Videos, you can make your original videos or you can get permission, written permission from the one who owns the videos. Software, Nako. <laughs> you can try to use open source. You can buy the license one, but you, if you buy one license, the license, if the license says you can install in three computers, do not install in five, okay? You have to obey what is in the license. Actually, you don't buy software, you use it with license, right? So the other free software that I, rec I use to avoid uh, using pirated software, I use LibreOffice or sometimes it's called OpenOffice instead of buying Microsoft Office, <coughs> almost the same. I don't really uh, do video uh, photo editing, but there is a program which is the <coughs> the free Photoshop equivalent or alternative. It's called GIMP or GNU Image Manipulation Program. If you do video editing instead of pirating Vegas Premiere or uh, Final Cut Pro, you can use this DaVinci Resolve Lite. <coughs> it's very nice, and also Blender in uh, video editor mode. So. That is the, <laughs> this actually the hardest slide. <laughs> Everybody can teach you the rest, but I, I think <laughs> I'm the only one who is teaching this. But we have to be a good example. Eh? We have to be a good example, even with respect to intellectual property. So that is all, friends, fellow workers, fellow believers, fellow missionaries. Let us remember God's command, write the vision that he who reads may run. God bless you all.